wild card game. Uh, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about cards versus Rams. It's so far. Yeah, we played a jazz on Monday. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, hey, oh, I'm yeah, obviously I'm upset about Pittsburgh making the playoffs. I mean, that's so <laughs> what they got the Chiefs? Yeah, Chiefs. Yeah, LeBron, I'm not sure how much Oscar a decent amount, but just wondered that name, what he meant to you, kind of the style of play that. Um, that he brought into the NBA, and, and now you, as he's the latest that you pass on the assist list. Sorry? Just Oscar Robertson. Yeah, just one. Yeah, um, you, if you didn't know, you pass him on the assist, all-time assist list tonight. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry. That, that <laughs> oh, no, been no, I have not been on social that. media yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, wow. Um, I mean, I, I am a historian of the game, and uh, I know quite a bit about the big O. Um, um you know, from his times uh, from high school to the University of Cincinnati to actually playing for Cincinnati Royals all the way to Milwaukee and so on and so on. Um, what he meant to the game, uh, what he still means to the game um, is something that's just unparalleled. And obviously, you know, he will always have a connection with Russ, you know, what they was able to do for multiple seasons. Um, but he was one of the first um, really premier big guards that uh, – you know, you know, could do pretty much everything on the floor. Um, but his ability to get teammates involved, his ability to find his teammates, his ability to provide that that's, that sense of joy on the floor because of the past is something that I've always respected and gravitated towards guys like himself and Jay Kidd and Magic. Um, so um, it's uh, anytime I'm like, a, I, mean, I know it's not like a broken record, but it's it's just a, it's an honest to God, truth. Anytime I'm connected or, or anything with the greats is just a, it's a true honor. LeBron, staying on the history of the game, part of Bill Russell's kind of mythology was that he wouldn't just block a shot, he'd grab it and keep it in play. Uh, I'd say that to get to the, the job play he had on Avery Bradley, just your, your thoughts on it and the degree of difficulty to do something like that. Um, well, I mean, obviously it starts with timing, um, and, uh, and also just, uh, you know, you know, just, you know, stalking your prey, you know, and that's, uh, exactly what, what Ja was doing, you know, that whole play and I, and I seen it happening, um, didn't know, <clears throat> didn't know he was going to do it in that fashion, but, you know, his, uh, you know, he got rockets in his calf muscles and, uh, it was a spectacular play. It was, it was a great play. Salute. Brian, you're halfway through, obviously one game, sub 500. Um, you know, kind of given what you've had of this team and, and sort of the ups and downs, are you, I mean, how do you grade what this team has accomplished so far and, and what do you see from the first half that you could kind of take in the second? Well, I think as of late, um, I mean, before tonight, uh, we've played some really good basketball. Um, you know, we want to continue that train over the next 42. Um, you know, uh, like I said, the best thing about our ball club right now is that we're we're getting healthy. Um, you know, we're, we're logging minutes. We're getting some good chemistry. And obviously, we played a great team tonight. I feel like it's a really good coach team. They have a lot of uh, good firepower on that team, and they've been playing well throughout the whole season. But, um, you know, I feel like if we continue to do what we've been doing over the last couple of weeks, probably the last month, um, then uh, – we play much better in the second half than we did in the first half. LeBron, Wayne told us that um, back in Vegas, you guys were talking kind of about this team, and you, you'd mentioned that the 2020 Buccaneers is, is maybe that even that, and you know, and that team started seven and five. Um, I would imagine you thought the slow start would come from chemistry and, and, and that type of stuff. H have you seen enough of the good stuff, I, I guess, through the, the first 41 um, to still feel like? good about that type of projection or is, is the slate just too blank? Um, well, obviously um, it's been a lot clearer of how we want to play the game of basketball over the last few weeks. As like I said, we've been getting our guys back and, um, you know, knowing how we want to execute, how we want to, you know, defend and um, how we want to attack. 
you know, uh, what's our what's our uh, our attack methods, both offensively and defensively. You know, obviously tonight wasn't one of the better nights, but um, you know we've been playing some really good basketball. So um, I, I feel like you know I have enough in the sense of who we have now, but I don't have enough sense of who we still don't have when we still don't have our big gun, and that's AD. You know, and you know, and <clears throat> excuse me, how that changes our dynamic. Um, obviously, it improves our team right away. Uh, but how it changes our dynamic, also K Nun when he comes in and fits in. You know, so we will see um, how we come together. You know, as fast as we can come together. Um, you know, once AD is back, because he's just such a big piece to our to our puzzle, and we can't ever like look at it like, okay, this is who we are until we get him. LeBron, uh, Russ has had about has now had half a season uh, in in the system and, and alongside you. Um, where do you think he is in, a, in in the sense of integrating with with the group, learning to play with you? I think at one point this season, Frank described it as as the biggest challenge that this team faced. Uh, where do you think that is? And obviously, it's a guy you wanted here. So where are where are you guys? Um, I, I think he, um, you know, well, I mean, it's half the season for our record, but it's not half the season for us on the floor. I haven't played in half of the season, uh, half of the games. Um, so, um, you know, I think every game we continue to, uh, learn each other. We continue to, you know, see ways we can both help each other when we don't have the ball, you know? So, you know, my impact in that sense, knowing, you know, how much of a threat he is with the ball, um, I've been able to, you know, kind of take away when he's on the floor, being more of a pick and pop guy or pick and roll guy. Uh, trusting him with the ball, um, you know, and then when I have the ball, um, he does a, you know, a, a, a done a pretty good job um, of being either in a dunker at payoff spots or, um, you know, on the perimeter. I think he just got to continue to trust his shot. I mean, obviously his shot hasn't failed for him as of late, um, but I think, you know, he just got to continue to trust that. So, you know, we, um, you know, we love when he's playing at a high level. We love when he's playing at a high motor, uh, pushing the tempo, because uh, when we're good, when we're really good, we're getting fast break points. And it starts with it starts with Russ um, attack and early transition and things of that nature. So we want to continue to do that. 